Hey guys, it's Frank. We're here in the shop today with McKenna shooting part one of a four-part series on marketing and sponsorship in motorsports. So McKenna, if I was gonna go get a sponsorship today, what kind of materials would I need? So the most important uh, marketing material that you need if you're gonna go get sponsors is the marketing presentation. And uh, a lot of sponsors have said to me that one of the things that has set me apart in certain situations is simply that I even had a presentation. And so a lot of drivers um, don't even bring one. And so that's step one, just having one. Uh, but you also want to take that a step further and make it professional and have all the right elements. And so I make mine on canva.com. And you can also use InDesign, which is a bit more fancy, or PowerPoint, which is a bit more simple. And I would recommend not using like a Word document or anything like that. And uh, you want to have like a nice cover page uh, you want to include a lot of photos that include um, the driver's face and not just the race car so that they can see the personality of the driver. And uh, you want to have a little bit of a bio, um, a background kind of on yourself or your team, uh, your racing accomplishments and um, your goals, so kind of where you've been, where you're going, um, short term, long term, um, your social media pages and coverage, as well as uh, what your marketing program includes. So whether you offer appearances or uh, social media marketing, regular media marketing, uh, different things like that. You want to include that and then you want to include what a marketing package would look like with all of those elements. So you can include different package pricing if you want to but it's not a necessity. And also a contact page uh, so they know how to get a hold of you if they're interested. Um, but the other thing is you want to keep in mind what you're going to use it for. And so if it's a presentation that they're going to read, you want to include more con copy or wording. Um, in it, but if it's something that you might be presenting in person, you want to keep more bullet points um, so that uh, they don't have to sit there and read through it when you're in the meeting with them. The other thing is you don't want to drag on too much about your accomplishments or your team's accomplishments, and so you want to uh, just keep it simple so a lot of companies aren't overly familiar with racing, and even if they are, they might not know the specifics of the different classes or the different shows, and so for me personally, when I've been trying to market the Knoxville Nationals or the Chili Bowl or the Tulsa Shootout, a lot of companies don't even know what those events are. And so it's more impo important to show the value that they're gonna get and the coverage that they're gonna get across the board um, instead of just talking about where you've raced and where you're gonna race just because they might not understand what that really means for them. So say I've come up with my presentation already. Okay. Are there any complimentary materials we should have Yes, so I personally have uh, business cards are really important. Um, so it's uh, something simple that you can do online. There's uh, like Vistaprint is a great resource. And you want to include, again, like a headshot on your business card. Uh, you can also include the race car so that um, they can remember what you look like after you leave and stuff like that. And then um, I use a variety of other materials, all of which are optional. Me personally, I have my own stationery that I get through my race pass with my racing logo on it that I'll use along with, it has my contact info. I also like to use personalized note cards. Um, it's really, really important to send a thank you card after you meet with a sponsor. Um, whether you get the deal or not, thank them for their time. Um, and so you can get personalized thank you cards or just any regular thank you card will do. Pretty much anything that can help you with your branding and to get your name out there uh, to follow up with a sponsor is good to have on hand. Very cool. Now I'm curious, are there any specifics with your presentation for certain situations? You're going to want to print your presentation. So personally, like I'll go to Office Depot, uh, you want to use like a heavyweight paper with like a nice cover um, so it's professional and spiral bound. And then you can bring multiple copies to the meeting, one for you, one for them, or however many are in the meeting. And then you just kind of want to walk them through it. Um, however, if you're going to have a more uh, a presentation where you're actually presenting and you want to have it on a PowerPoint. You want to have um, uh, maybe a PowerPoint itself or a presentation that's easy to flip through on a screen. Um, and then another thing you can do is tailor it for the sponsor. And so you might want to use their colors, their logo throughout the presentation. Um, if they have a certain demographic, if it's like a very male-based um, company or if they're targeting females or kids, uh, you want to keep that in mind as you're preparing the presentation. So if you have 80% male following, you probably don't want to include that in a pitch if it's a female clothing company or something like that, or vice versa. And so um, keep your demographic in mind with their demographic and then tailor the presentation to fit that. Thank you, McKenna. That was part one of marketing and sponsorship in motorsports.
Tune into our next video on networking and prospecting.